Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P and this is Word Origins 177. The word origin today is whistleblower. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot. Now's a good time. Let's get right to it. Uh, you can find the word whistleblower as a single word, as two separate words, or, you know, as a, a, wor a word where it's separated by a hyphen. All right, let's continue. A whistleblower is a person, usually an employee or an insider, who knows of or discovers activity that is illegal, yeah, especially illegal, unsafe, you know, maybe can harm people or harm the people that work there or harm the public somehow, uh, an abuse of funds, you know, maybe they are misusing money or stealing money, uh, or power and choose to expose it. So the whistleblower chooses to expose it. This can be done internally uh, within an organization or government or externally to the media or hopefully another trustworthy organization. Because you know sometimes as a whistleblower, you have to be careful who you can trust and who you can't trust. Although in the US many and many other Western countries uh, there are laws that are supposed to protect uh, them, you know, protect the whistleblowers. They often face great risk for doing the right thing. Uh, they could be fired, maybe. Physically harmed, you know, um, I don't know, maybe somebody will beat them up, or they could suddenly have an accident that may not have really been an accident. Uh, killed or risk uh, danger to their family. If the one accused is powerful enough, they may use the media to ruin the whistleblower's reputation, or at least put it into question so that, you know, to try to cover themselves. That could be a way they could try to get around it by putting all this criticism or having, you know, you actually using the media as an attack dog against the whistleblower if they're powerful enough to do that. All right, let's continue. Uh, the word whistleblower literally originally, um, you know, originally meant a person who blows a whistle. <laughs> Simple enough. Uh, it started to be used in the 1800s in sports, uh, especially among, you know, referees and umpires, okay, uh, who used a whistle to point out players breaking rules. All right, so this makes sense. This is kind of a connection already. Uh, police uh, also used to use whistles to get the public's attention or, or warn them about something. So this is another way that it was kind of used. Uh, it eventually formed into the phrase to blow the whistle on someone. Uh, in the early 1900s, to call attention to the public or officials to make one aware of a wrongdoing, or that somebody was doing something wrong. Okay, good. And we just have three examples to show how we would use this. Here's the first one. Um, yeah, that whistleblower was found dead with a suicide note. Many believe that he may have been suicided. All right, I think I did a video on, on suicided a long time ago. Suicided does not mean you really commit suicide. It means you were murdered and somebody tried to make it look like suicide. They set it up to make it look like, oh, I don't know, you're upset or terrible, and then you just murdered yourself uh, so that they could get off. Because if there's no accuser, then, you know, they're, they're off. Or remember, there's the, <laughs> there's the other, <laughs> other proverb I did a long time ago, too. You know, dead men tell no, tell no tales as well. All right, let's continue. Uh, number two here. They tried to ruin uh, that whistleblower's reputation by reporting about some things in his personal life. Yeah, so, yeah, they'll, they'll try to put you into question or they find anything on you they can. So the worse they can make you look bad, the more people might question what you are telling. And number three here, it takes a lot of courage to be a whistleblower. Yeah, so... If you find someone's a whistleblower and you find out that they're true, they're a real whistleblower, they're not a fake whistleblower, then they probably deserve some of your respect. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I uh, hope it was clear. hope it was very informative. Again, if you like these videos where we, we show 
uh, the origins of the words or where the words come from, I'd appreciate if you could uh, give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.